Hi, Unit 4, Activity 2 here, and I just want us to think about uh, what is it that batteries really do again? Um, and so I'm going to set up circuits A, B, C, and D, um, where I have a three-cell battery over here. And on the other side, I'm going to have circuit A doesn't have a battery over here, so like zero cells. Circuit B will have a one-cell battery. Circuit C will have a two-cell battery. Circuit, three, circuit D will have a three-cell battery. Um, and we just want to compare, we want to think about brightnesses, and we want to think about uh, how much current, how much charge flow. So I hope that you have already thought about your predictions. If you haven't, pause now and make your predictions about those. And uh, circuit A, unsurprisingly, circuit A is the standard circuit that we've seen over and over and over again. Uh, standard circuit being a three cell battery with a series of two round bulbs, and it's the same brightness as always. And when I put the compass on there, um, or when I put the wire over the compass, then I get the same uh, 20 ish, 20 to 25 or so degrees of compass deflection. So circuit A is exactly what we're accustomed to over and over again. We get the same results as we've gotten before. So now on to the stuff that maybe we uh, haven't seen before. Um, so you've made your predictions and now I'm going to set up circuit B where I have a one cell battery over here on the other side. And something that is very worth paying attention to for circuit B is the orientation of uh, the batteries. So circuit B on the three cell battery, my positive end of the battery is here. And if you look at circuit B, you see that the positive end of the battery on circuit B is uh, closest, if I go around the loop from the positive end of the three cell battery, I go through this bulb and then to the positive end. So like if I think about clockwise and counterclockwise, um, I might say that this battery, this three cell battery is sort of facing clockwise and this one cell battery is facing counterclockwise. If I think about facing in terms of like which way is the positive end oriented. So when I make this connection, So I've got my one cell battery here for circuit B, and I can see that these bulbs are dimmer for easy comparison. Here's circuit A, here's circuit B. If I, and I've got my compass aligned so I don't have to reset it up exactly every time. My compass needle turns just under 20 degrees. So a little bit less compass turning and dimmer bulbs. Now, if I set up circuit C, I don't know how well you can see that. I'm trying to cast a shadow here. Uh, this bulb is very dimly glowing you can see it against my hand, the bulb is glowing very, very, very dimly. And the other is glowing equally brightly, which is to say not very brightly. And if I check the compass, I get maybe just over 10 degrees. So even less than before. And if I have a three cell battery over here for circuit D, connection, and I can't see at all I can't see any glowing in either bulb. If I check the compass, 
That compass needle is not turning. Fascinating. So, what does all this mean? Um, I think that's something for us to think our way through. I'm interested in your ideas first, so um, I look forward to finding out what you think. See you later.